Good morning, grade 6. Good morning, children. Welcome to our virtual classroom. Art 6, quarter 4, week 1. I am teacher Alvin L. Moyong of Buhay na Tubig Elementary School, teaching in TLE and MAPE. Don't forget to subscribe. And this is our objectives for today. At the end of the lessons, the learners demonstrate understanding of shapes, colors, and the principles of contrast and harmony. Have you been in exhibits or museum? Have you seen objects displayed similar to the pictures below? This one? Another one? And this one? Yes, these are the pieces of artwork. They are usually displayed in museum, park, and public places. If you look around, you see different colors, shapes, lines, and textures. These elements of art make up our environment. And of course, you can see, you see designs that are created using combination of these elements. You see colorful display of this one this is the products of our adver advertisement on billboard and the other one is handicraft in the market and of course we can have our Beautiful and attra attractive landscape and the sculpture, the sculpture of MacArthur in parks and streets. With the advent of technology, creating design become more advanced. But despite use of technology, the elements and principles of arts are still applied. And our topic for today is all about sculpture. Okay, what is sculpture? Sculpture is the branch of the visual art that operates in three dimensions. It is one of the plastic arts. In the past, sculpting is only done manually. In manual sculpting, a sculptor works by hand to shape a material using a chisel into any form. First, the other meaning of sculpture is Durable sculptural processes originally use carving and modeling in stone, metal, ceramics, wood, and other materials. But since modernism, there has been an almost complete freedom of materials and process. This is the exam example. This is the example of old way sculpting. And of course, the materials that we gonna use in our sculpture, we can use clay. We can use sand. And also and also we can use a bronze. We can also use wood for sculpture and of course even our soap and we can have a famous sculpture in the Philippines. Number one, we're gonna have the MacArthur Monument that can, that can found in 
Leite. Number two, we can have a Lapo Lapos wine in Cebu. And of course, we can have our number three, the Dorian in Davao. Our number four is the Bonifacio Shrine in Ermita, Maynila. And of course, the Capitol Lagoon in Bacolod City. And the Carabao at the Rizal Park in Manila. And of course, in our activity for today, bring clay of any colors for our clay sculpture. Do your best eat. Five, four, three, two, one. Project and music. make an album short folder of the famous Filipino sculptures and their works of art. Napoleon Abueva, Eduardo Castrillo, Guillermo Tolentino, Ray Paz Contreras, and Arturo Luz. That's all kids. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos.